can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. All right hook attempt, no good. to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh. Well, he blocks the shot there. Oh, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. Once this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes, he's taking peeks He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. What a kick. That one landed. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. On point with that jab today. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Landed that one. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice combination there by Lee. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, nice. The right hand just misses. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh, man, the hook is there again. It seems like every time he's gone to it in this fight, it's been there, and none more punishing than that one. There. None more punishing. What a fantastic shot. Way to find that hook over and over again. Now they're starting to really take an effect on his opponent. Takedown defense holds up. Not resting in the clinch, being very active and landing a beautiful punch there from the clinch position. Leg kick, really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Very fast jab lands for him. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Oh, just missed with a hook. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. It's a beautiful kick. Gotta see it take down. Oh, caught him with the head kick. Separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. 
Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Good job defensively to block that punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, man. These are starting to hurt me, and I'm not getting punched. Just continual punishment with that hook. I mean, how many times can he land this strike before his opponent understands that he has to protect himself? It won't take many more. He better make an adjustment. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Oh. That horn sounds oh. means we have reached the end of round one. Great job mixing the attacks. We really keep him off balance. The key to this victory is going to be those leg kicks. Keep chopping away. I want you to work. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outcome. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Keep the pressure on. Everything's Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Fournier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. More baller than this. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, straight punch. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, back and forth we go. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. And he lands that side kick. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this you, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Let's get busy with those hands so a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Yeah. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh. 
Oh, misses with the jab. Lands a good series of kicks here. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Single leg takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Under a minute. And now to go in round two. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Or guys start to attack triangles. Mm, that was nice. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Final seconds. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. in the books. All right, listen to me, bud. Breathe, relax. I need you to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. I want you to avoid that takedown. The only reason you're getting... All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That one landed, yep. That was a big check. Collar tie here in the clinch. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice crack there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trying to kick the leg out. That is a damaging kick that lands. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, the outside of that lead leg, the left thigh, really showing signs of bruising now. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice kick to the body. Throws that teep and it lands. Lee gets hit by another front kick. You've just got to be better than that defensively. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, man. Oh, sidekick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful jab there by the champ. And that's spinning kick down to Tom up top. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. We'll no. see how that feels. You don't want that, Jake. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. There's the single. He passed the half guard. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, the referee not seeing oh, enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating working the body, and those shots are gonna count. He blocked that punch. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. It's starting to take an effect. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice. Nice. That's a big strike right there. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. Big breaths for Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen. All right, you're losing the stand-up war. I need you to start. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harsh. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. It got checked. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Beautiful shot to the leg. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Back to the jab now. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Big shot lands for both guys. Strike. 
gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Going to the body now with that hook, well placed there by Lee. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Nice one, two there. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Nice punch lands. Massive elbow from the clinch. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. There's that side kick. Nice kick. Nice block. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, we know needs to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. With conviction to the body. Back and forth we go. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over. High level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, even though it's body damage, to see the ref call in the dock. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop it. The doctor steps into the octagon. I believe this fight's going to be called off. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it fight? will be. And then Ready. everything becomes very yeah. difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Big overhand right. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Beautiful body kick. 
Oh, goes to the switch kick and lands. That was masterfully done. It's such a fast action. You draw reactions to your opponent, and that's when you find the target. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Patented in front kick there by Lee. Oh, crippling uppercut. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, nice. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. And there's a nice elbow from the clinch. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Just missed with the leg kick. Rips the body there. Lands the low kick. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Shooting for the takedown here. Unable to land with that punch. Right champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, Leads to your face starting to swell. All right, let's go. Let's go. And doing work with the jab. Big inside kick. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. There it is again. His cardio is doing great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Just missed with the left there. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. That left hand's getting home. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Lands to the body. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision.
The judges score the contest. 50, 46, 49, 46, and 49, 46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And can 